In this edition of the TV News, is a branded Apple television in trial production? Maybe. Go ahead, Bill Tush. Make our day with that scene on TV. And is cable TV beginning to pin its prayers on God? Stand by for the TV News. This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights. One location, two conferences, one price to access both. For registration and information, visit CTAMConferences.com. Welcome to the TVNews.TV. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. It's Wednesday, May 30th. Here now is the lead. Confusing blips coming from Foxconn. That's Apple's manufacturing partner in China. Now recently, they confirmed that they were in trial production of a first-generation Apple-branded television. But there's been an about-face with a vehement denial. So what's the real story, and will Apple beat the estimate of deploying an Apple television before the targeted year of 2014? We'll stay on this story, so you stay with the TV news. Well, as threatened, I mean promised, former CNN entertainment correspondent Bill Tush has something to say about E's recently launched Mrs. Eastwood and Company. So let's get to it with As Seen on TV. Hello. If you're old enough, you may remember the times when you'd go to visit a relative and at some point during the evening they would whip out the movie projector and all the home movies and proceed to bore everybody to tears. Well, Mrs. Dina Eastwood is doing the same thing. Mrs. Eastwood, of course, is married to Clint Eastwood, the toughest guy in the movies. How he ever agreed to let her do this show, I will never know. It will definitely not make his day if he sees it. Here's the premise. It's Mrs. Eastwood who, uh, well, if she doesn't tell you she's really funny, her two daughters will tell you that they're all hysterical. And then if they don't tell you enough how funny they are, well, they could bring in the boy band that somehow Mrs. Eastwood brought back from South Africa with the promise that she'll get them a record dealer. She's also a uh, talent manager. Well, this show is just, well, let's put it this way. I've strung together a bunch of words to kind of describe it. Forced, unfunny, overly edited, lame, uninteresting, stupid, insipid, useless, irritating, amateurish. I mean, it just goes on and on. I don't know, but I can tell you this. I'm very thankful for a fellow by the name of Eugene Pulley, who passed away about a week or so ago. Mr. Pulley, in case the name doesn't ring a bell, invented the TV remote control. I'm Bill Tush, and uh, see you next time. Now entering the TV News.TV studios is Susan Hibben, who takes the TV programming pulse. I have a couple of questions. Number one, is the bloom off of the rose on broadcast TV competition shows? Well, consider the following. American Idol just lost its eight-year running crown as the number one show on broadcast TV this past season. Dancing with the Stars, down in its ratings year to year. So you think you can dance? Huh. Off a whopping 27% in its premiere. Duets, premiere to soft consumption. And America's Got Talent, even with How Weird Stern, down year to year. So the answer is a definitive yes to Is the Bloom Off the Rose. Now the question is, will broadcast TV ride these horses until they fall over dead? Of course they will. And speaking of identifying trends, how about is cable TV pinning a new trend on getting God? Well, once again, let's consider the following data. Irrespective of the usual faith-based networks, mainstream cable TV seems to have embraced the Christian faith as of late. With TLC's Preacher's Wives, BET's Sunday's Best, TV Land's Soul Man, GSN's game show, American Bible Challenge, and history's upcoming epic miniseries, The Bible. 
Holy smoke, I think that's a bona fide trend. So peace be with you, cable TV, and also with you. I'm Susan Hibben, and I'll be off for a few weeks, but I'll be back in good time here at the TVnews.tv. All right, start making your attendance plans right now for the only industry trade event where you get two conferences at one location for only one price. It's CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights happening October 14th through the 16th. And right now, you can save big with an early bird discount. For more information or for registration, visit ctamconferences.com. If you'd like to be one of our fantastic sponsors, yeah, just like CTAM, here's how you can get started. Just email us at advertise at the tvnews.tv and we look forward very much to hearing from you. Now Thursday, our two-minute TV tarot, that's Prudence Terrio, takes a read on the Dish Network Auto Hop Fiasco. It's going to be interesting. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. What if you could combine the impact of traditional TV on-air promotion with the relationship-building power of social media? Now you can with SOMA Promotion, only from American Ingenuity Media. To get your SOMA email, tgrim at americaningenuitytv.com.